My name is Sherry Fox, and it's S-H-E-R-I-F-O-X, and I am the Center Manager for Great Plains Interagency Dispatch Center. Okay, and today, the purpose of today in a nutshell, if you could kind of explain it. We're having an interagency medevac training with the South Dakota National Guard, Black Hills Life Flight, and all of our wildland interagency partners. But it's not just for firefighters, it's for a lot of our field going personnel that might be out there uh, working on the trails or um, in timber or whatever they may be doing out there. Okay, uh, obviously it's pretty critical, but could you kind of explain why it, 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 it is? Well, this is our third year having the training and it's just a good overview. I don't think they can hear it enough because when you come across somebody that's hurt or one of your crew members gets hurt, um, you, you know, you, your adrenaline starts going and it's quick going and hard to think and so if they've had a little bit of training and a little bit of exercise in it, it hopefully it'll come to them a little bit more naturally. Okay. About how many times a year do you actually end up doing the events? Like I said, this is our third year doing this exercise and we've had to do one each year, um, especially with the rally coming up. If we have a um, interagency employee that comes across a citizen out that has uh, gotten in an accident and they don't have cell coverage, then uh, they'll call the Great Plains Dispatch and we will assist them in getting them out of back to them. Yeah, and God forbid a firefighter and a fire. Yes, Unfortunately, on everybody's minds right now. Yes, it is. Does and that we, kind of m motivate these guys to come out for this training? Well, I don't think it motivates them. It's a, it's a, something that is, like I said, it's it. You can't ever hear it enough. It always you always learn something. <clears throat> excuse me, new each time. So, um, and yes, God forbid it would be a firefighter, but um, whatever it takes to get the uh, help to him as fast as we can, we'll do. My name's Corey Newhart. Uh, C O R Y. N-E-U-H-A-R-T-H. -H. Uh -huh. And I'm with the Bureau of Land Management out of the South Dakota field office. And there I'm the uh, fuels module supervisor for our fuels and fire crew. Okay, what does that mean, fuels module? Uh, basically, we're anywhere from a five to seven person crew. Uh, we do fuels mitigation projects um, along with fire suppression. Fire suppression. So you're in the field before a fire, during a fire, uh, or after a fire? All three. All three. All three. <laughs> yep, we do pre, post, and, okay. and everything. And, and like I said, this is the dumb question, but it's got to be asked. That, you know, how critical is this familiarization training for you and everybody else? Uh, you know, it, I think it's very familiar. We're all, uh, we all work together, so we need to know what tools are out there that are available to us, um, you know, what their response time is, what we can expect in case we have an incident on the weather. It doesn't always have to be on the fire line. It can be uh, anytime you're doing any type of field work or come up to any type of accident in the field, you know, it's probably very important to know um, who's out there and, and what they can do for us. Yeah. And then, you know, it's, it, unfortunately, this gets reinforced about once every couple of years when you have a big tragedy Correct. Uh, out in the field. And uh, is, did that kind of motivate people a little more on this one here? Um, well, uh, we weren't able to make the last few years just because of the, the fires that were going on the last few years. Nobody was available to make it very very much so it's um yeah it, it you know it's it's very important um i think it, it it has motivated and it has increased the last few years just because of of the incidents that have happened well when you think about that the fact that you've had so many fires last few years you weren't able to train that's kind of a scary thing because people don't realize even with all that actual work you need training correct yep yeah there's all that required training that you have to fit in but yet uh you know when the when the fires happen they don't care about uh when when you have your training so it's uh, kind of a challenge sometimes to fit in all the training that's that's needed now if you had to actually pull in a medevac yourself in the past um, no 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 medevac no medevac no. are you comfortable confident comfortable with your ability to actually do it if you had to um that'd probably be tough to say you know i've done a lot of talking to helicopters and calling in water drops and and things and uh retardant drops uh you know i, I think when you have somebody else's uh Maybe life in your hands or the, the timing, you know, might change the uh, the factor of things a little bit, I guess. The, the, the so-called pucker factor. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, correct. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>